Oh, and another one. Oh, and another one. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Hey, y'all. Happy Biggie Day. Welcome to HQ Trivia. I'm your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as the butter that you put on your toast. That's right, the one, the only, money flipping Matt Richards. Air horn noises. Ah, if you played before, you already know what's up, okay? I'm gonna ask you 12 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than being away from HQ Trivia for two weeks. It was, I missed y'all so much. I missed you. It, it, it won't happen again, okay? Unless Martha Stewart slides in my DMs and asks me to fly back out to then I'm leave again. But I'll be back, all right? I asked you 12 questions. You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. You get them all correct, and you win. Tonight, we got $5,000 up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? We gon' see, all right? That's what we gon' do. Extra lives. Y'all gotta know about those, okay? Because they help you stay in the game after you get a question wrong. You can earn them by playing five days in a row or when a friend signs up using your code. Cool, also erasers, okay? To use one, you tap that blue eraser button during the 10 seconds you have to pick the right answer. It's gonna erase one of the two wrong answers, giving you a 50-50 chance to select the correct one, all right? Plus, they are free. You get them by playing nearby other players. Remember, you can only use one eraser and one extra life per game, just not on the final round. So use them wisely. Tomorrow, it's going down. We're doing Game of Thrones trivia. Dun, 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 dun. Look at my face. Oh, a host has no name. That's right, $10,000 is up for grabs, y'all. Yes, the White Walkers is coming. Winter is coming. Quizzing is coming. And it's going to be with me. Yeah, baby, it's Matt Snow. Oh, Monday. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Monday is movie night at HQ. This, that's right, this week is all about the best, worst movies ever. That's at 9 p.m. Eastern on Monday. Couple quick shouty outy outies. Landon, your mommy loves you, okay? Chris uh, and, uh, and Scott out in Duluth, Minnesota. Michelle, Kate, Kristen, what's up, ladies? Lizzie, the prettiest potato in BK. What? Prettiest potato. You call your girlfriend a potato? Ooh, y'all gonna break up. Uh, Kyle and Allie, what's up, babies? Yeah, that's all, all the shout outs that I had time to write down. But uh, I'll get to the rest of you. I'm here all weekend. All right, y'all ready to get this started? Huh? Well, let's do it then. Let's play some HQ trivia. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Here we go with question number one. A common fairy tale ending is and they all lived happy, happily ever after, next to Carl for deep underground. Hmm? What's it going to be? Told you the question start out easy. So if you get this one wrong, uh, I feel like I should hug you for not having fairy tales in your life as a child. Word. Remember at the end of the princess and the pea, huh? When they found out that the pea was, it was a pea and they brought it to Carl's house? Of course you don't. That's insane. Yeah, they lived happily ever after. At least, allegedly. Happily ever after, y'all. 339,727 got that one right. Pew, 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 air horn noises. Yeah, congrats to you guys. 1,700 of y'all thought uh, that they moved next to Carl. Eh, question number two. What you gonna do? How? Will the clocks change when daylight savings time starts in the U.S. in a few hours? Backwards two hours? Forwards 24 hours? Or forwards one hour? Daylight savings, baby! Everybody ready? Huh? Set your clocks and your watches? You don't have to set your watch if it's like a Apple watch or something. Anyway, all right. We're springing forward. Doesn't matter if you're ready or not, because it's happening whether you're ready or not. And that means last call is coming exactly one hour earlier. So plan ahead. 287,982 of y'all got that right. 33,000 of y'all gonna be late for something. Yeah, 24 hours. Oh, you're early for something. You gonna show up at your office and nobody gonna be there but you because you thought Daylight Savings gave you a whole day. Silly heads. Question number three. What's it gonna be? Here we go. Which letter of the alphabet does the musical scale go up to? G, J, or N? All you music nerds out there, 
Help me, I've been trying to learn how to play guitar so I can serenade myself. Help my puppies fall asleep. Word. All right, if you've studied music, you might have learned the scale starting from C and going all the way up to C. How's that work? I'm gonna tell you, okay? By wrapping around the alphabet and the note before A besides A flat is G. Ain't nothing but a gangster party, party. Hey, to all my G's out there, my real G's. From the front to back, all my people, all my quizzes in the world. Where the heck are you? 269,192 got that one right. High fives to you. Time for question number four, coming at your door. We'll give it to you, cause I know you want some more. What computer operating system is starting up here? Is it Linux, Vista, or OS X? Give y'all some time, figure it out, okay? Linux, Vista, or OS X? What's it gonna be? What kind of operating system are you playing HQ on right now? Let us know in the chat, okay? But if you're looking at that four color windows logo, you're somehow playing HQ on Vista. That's amazing! Vista was the right answer there. 210,422 knew what to do. Holy shoot, look at you. Yeah, it's my favorite time of the show and I know I'm gonna piss off some of y'all, but I don't give a flying rat's but Here we go. <laughs> ah, 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 question five, question five. Ah, 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 question five. Yeah. Hi, uh -huh. mm, Rusty, I haven't done that in almost three weeks. I missed y'all so much. Here we go. Which is not one of the thread directions in weaving? Warp, wing, or weft? Y'all know how you cozy up on a Saturday night, just getting ready to head to the club, and you get your, get your weave on. Get into the weaving, y'all. One of these isn't a direction of the thread, okay? Weaving is ancient AF. Humans been doing it for like all of recorded history. Without, with and without uh, mechanical help. So let's break it down, okay? The vertical threads, that's gonna be the warp. And the, uh, the zigzagging horizontally, that's, that's the weft. But ain't no wing, y'all. There's no wing, babies. Wing is the right answer there. So let's see who got it. <laughs> Who gonna get the answer? I'm gonna tell you, I'm stalling and doing it while I'm dancing. Yeah. <laughs> 84,386 got question five right. We just lost a bunch of people, but I don't, I mean, is that a savage question? Kinda, no? Oh yeah, it is. Woo, savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Savage question! Hey! Savage question! Oh, I know people lose weight in LA, but I, my suit's got a lot tighter from eating all that catering. Jeez Louise. I'm just sucking it in like I'm on a first date. As soon as this game is over, this button going to shoot out and crack the camera. Here we go! Question number six. All the other kids with a question six better tap, better tap, tap the right answer. What role did Robert Kennedy play in his brother's administration? Secretary of State, Chief of Staff, or Attorney General? Hmm? What's it gonna be? All right, check it out. JFK wasn't president for that long, right? But he did a lot of memorable stuff. And it was almost 60 years ago that he apparently glanced over at his brother and said, now there's an Attorney General. 61,756 just got that one right. Congratulations, it's time for question seven. <laughs> I just <laughs> knocked my water down. I keep a water here without a label so I can hydrate myself between questions. Mmm, refreshing generic spring water. That's where mooses pee. Question number seven. <laughs> Which of these places is not a Caribbean island, Bermuda, St. Lucia, or Barbados. Which one of these places is not a Caribbean island? Yo, what are these places? Come on now. You know what I'm talking about. Get on a cruise ship and step off for the island excursion. Maybe ride an ATV. Get your hair braided by some lady named Patricia. 
I got real personal just now. <laughs> I didn't get my hair braided by Patricia. Okay. What's it gonna be? There's over 700 Caribbean islands, so I hope you memorize all of them. All right, because I told y'all to earlier. But if you didn't, right, pull out a map of the Atlantic and you'll probably notice that way up there lurking over the others, like the Canada of the Caribbean, is Bermuda. Bermuda, Jamaica, oh, I wanna take it down here. Here I go, baby, why don't we do the coca more? We'll get there fast and then we'll take it so That's where we want to go Way down in Kokomo Bermuda is not a Caribbean island though, so sorry 42,041, got that one right, it's time for question 8 Hope you're feeling great Here we go! A key developer of the Star Trek Klingon language Also played which character? Check off, Spock or Scotty? What's it gonna be? All right, check it out. Some people accomplish a lot, right? This guy was a war hero and helped develop linguistics with his early work on a fictional language. All in a day's work. But James Duhan, best known as engineer Montgomery Scott, AKA Scotty Boombody. Here we go, everybody. 7,000, that's, oh, 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 I didn't think it was gonna happen. First day back, and we got two savage questions. Let's get it! Savage Quest Song! Sorry, you got it wrong! Savage Quest Song! Second Savage Quest Song! Second Savage Question! Second Savage Question! Woo! Every time I turn to the side, I want a salad. <laughs> Here we go. Question nine. Feeling fine. What font was created for the publication of The Papers of Thomas Jefferson? Monticello, Heritage, or Bakersville? This was a font specially created for the publication of the papers of Thomas Jefferson. Hmm. If you know the name of Jefferson's estate, this should be an easy one, okay? Jefferson loved his home so much that he said, all my wishes end where I hope my days will end at Monticello. 13,790 of you just got that one right. Congratulations, you are closer to winning the prize. Question number 10, here we go my friends, time to get it in. Manuel Noriega once tried to sue over his depiction in what video game series? Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, or Tomb Raider? Manuel Noriega, y'all. What video game did he try to sue, babies? Hmm. Turns out dictators like to control their image. And though a judge dismissed the case, he felt entitled to damages for being portrayed as kind of a jerk in the second Black Ops game in the Call of Duty series. Call of Duty. Woo, pew, 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 pew. 10,213 of y'all got that one right. A lot of extra lives getting used right now. Oh, that's crazy. Don't forget, babies, all right? HQ Words is coming up tonight at 9.30, right after this. For show. Sure. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven. Here we go. As a boy, Robin Thicke was babysat by a legendary athlete from what sport? Basketball, football, or hockey? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Which sport? Okay, which sport uh, did the athlete that used to babysit little baby Robin Thicke? <laughs> what did he play? It's a good story, okay? In 1988, Alan Thicke took a trip to Europe and got an athlete buddy to watch the kids. Then a phone call comes in telling the guy he's been traded to Edmonton and 11-year-old Robin is abandoned by Wayne Gretzky. NHL legend. 8,871 of y'all just got that. You're moving on to question 12. Here we go, question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt Was Bunny. Question 12. I said question 12. Question 12. It was all a dream. I used to ask questions on your screen. It's trying to work on the remix. Here we go. For all the marbles, babies. Which of the four classical elements is explicitly mentioned in Smash Mouth song, All Star? Wind, earth, or water? Felt like... I was about to summon Captain Planet just now. Heart! 
<laughs> the kid had a little monkey. Heart! Go planet! All right, fire gets a mention, but that's not one of the choices, okay? The relevant lyrics are, and you can feel free to sing along. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. The world's on fire, how about yours? Water ain't in there, y'all. 1,880, just one HQ, that's a savage question, but I'm gonna skip singing it. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Woohoo! I'll do it, savage question song. So you got it wrong, savage question song. It's a savage question song. It's always been savage question song, not savage question. Oh, who, what? Congratulations to 1,880 winners. Scott with a cute doggy. You got $2 and change. Wreck'em T, congratulations. MD Terps, congratulations. Bobby B, congratulations. Cruddy K, Double Poe, Celtic Fox, and K Bald are just some of the winners. Oh, Anthony J, PMK, Mike CVS receipt. <laughs> Child of Crow. Yeah, oh, go big blunts. Go big what? This is a family show. <laughs> you did it! You conquered HQ trivia, y'all. Don't forget, Words is up next at 9.30. And come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern for Game of Thrones trivia. That's right. Look, they put my face in there. I'm about to go post this on my gram. <laughs> One of those faces is not like the other. Yeah. Me, how come there wasn't no black people in Game of Thrones? Except the one dude, there's two. I think it's two, right? There's that pirate dude, uh, the slave dude, the, 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 the unsullied dude, and then uh, the girl that hangs out with Khaleesi. Miss Andre, oh, she fine. All right, <laughs> thank you guys. I've been your host, Matt Richards, AKA Matt Was Funny. Holla at your boy on the socials. I'm gonna see y'all later. This water tastes good. <laughs>